Good morning. Today I'll be showing you guys my entire Chrome Hearts jewelry collection. Um, I have quite a few pieces from them in terms of jewelry. Um, I won't be going over like the clothes, but I am wearing a Chrome Hearts long sleeve right now. So basically, I've been following Chrome Hearts for quite a while now. I think I got my first piece from Chrome Hearts in Hong Kong about like seven or eight years ago. Here is my jewelry collection. I'll start off this video with the silver jewelry and then I'll move on to the gold pieces that I own. So I have a bunch of these like little pouches from like each trip but I literally just like put them into a little box here. I should really invest in like a jewelry holder or like one of those books. Okay, I'm gonna start off the video with my silver pieces. So for the very first um, silver piece, I have a forever ring. So it looks like this on the top and it has like crosses and text on the sides. So here is the um, crosses and the other side says CHLA on it. And I prefer to just wear it on my index finger. It's very low key, but you can definitely tell it's from Comb Hearts just by the crosses and it's very recognizable. One thing I don't like about this is that the band itself is a little bit thick. So if you can see, it kind of juts out. Um, it rubs across like my middle finger, which kind of hurts sometimes. So I don't really prefer wearing this anymore since I have other pieces. Now for the second piece that's also silver, this is a stud earring. So this is an anchor. I really like this because it's very minimal and low key and it just sits really well at the bottom. But one thing that I don't like about it is that if you can see it, the earring starts at like the pen area so it kind of droops down. When you have a, like a low piercing on your ear, it actually is kind of like a hanging earring and it might get caught with your hair since it's like an awkward um, drop length. But this one was a cute piece that I wanted to stack with others. Um, along with the silver, I also have another earring and it's the classic safety pin earring. So this safety pin earring um, does not have a diamond on it. But uh, one thing I like about it is that you can get it in a pair or you can get it as a single as with all um, Chrome Hearts like earring jewelry. For me, I always have um, nails, so it's really hard to get the backing on some of the earrings, but this one doesn't have that problem because you literally can just unfasten it. So let me just demonstrate. So you just take it out, you can just bend it, you loop it through, and then you can just close it off. You can't really see, but you just close it off like that, and it just sits perfectly. It's so easy. So that's what I like about that earring piece. Now for my favorite silver piece, I actually have it on my wrist right now. It is the baby fat bracelet. So it looks like this. Um, I did get this one in silver and um, diamonds on it. It does have diamonds on every single cross and in the back and the front. And the clasp is right here. The original fastening actually comes off quite frequently but the, like the safety clasp like is always there to support the bracelet and it like never fell off so I've had this for about a year now I don't think I've taken it off um, I switch it from like my left hand to my right hand sometimes but this is like a staple in my everyday like outfit I think that is it for my silver jewelry now we can move on to the gold and that's when it gets exciting to introduce um, my very first gold piece, this is actually the very, very first Chrome Hearts jewelry piece that I own, maybe like six, seven years back. And it is this, it is a gold cross earring with a diamond stud. Um, so this was my very first um, Chrome Hearts piece. And I really like this. I don't think I've taken it off in like these seven years. And I usually have it on my left side. And when I used to have two piercings on my ears, I would just stack it one up and then have like the safety pin droop down. Um, that was my original setup, but now I've switched it back to just one piercing. So this is probably my OG like favorite piece in my entire collection. So that's the very first one. I will also introduce another gold earring. And this is actually um, the baby fat version. 
of the earring so it has one drop I think this one type of earring comes in I think uh, one drop, three drop and five drop but I only got the one drop just for convenience and it's more like an every everyday kind of thing and I used to have it right here on my right side so for this one I also have it in um, gold and a single diamond um, now, interestingly, Chrome Hearts actually does um, white gold jewelry and I it kind of looks like silver but it is white gold. That's why there's no like rust on it even though Chrome Hearts is kind of known for their like rusty, um, like kind of banged up look for the silver jewelry. But I really like this one um, white gold piece I have. It's the hoop earring and there's like just a little bit of detail um, with some crosses on it. It matches with the original ring that I shown, so it kind of has that like similar theme going on. But I really like this white gold piece just as like a simple hoop earring. You can't really tell it's from hearts unless you like squint really close and see that there's crosses on it. So that one's really easy to style. Now I can move on to my gold rings. For the first ring, it's just like a simple three hearts um, situation and this ring I actually got a size small so it fits on like my pinky finger it's like super cute and simple can't really tell it's chrome hearts again unless you really know the brand um, and one thing I like about the hearts is that there's uh, there's like half of it that's smooth and half of it that has like design on it and I know this collection also um, goes with like earrings and their necklaces but this is the first one that i got in their like hearts collection now this is probably my second favorite piece of my entire collection and it's a it's the baby fat ring um it's interesting because this ring doesn't have like shape to it and it's like loose um kind of like a bracelet but like a bracelet for a finger um, basically, it's the baby fat, um, like baby fat shape with diamonds um, all around it, like that. So I really like this ring because it's so versatile, and I usually have it on my ring finger on this side. So let me just do a quick showcase. It looks like that. And it's super comfortable. This is probably my second favorite piece um, of all my jewelry. So here it is. All right, I'll just keep it on for the final reveal. So earlier this year, I also got one of my dream pieces from um, Chrome Hearts. I don't think there's anything else that I would want in terms of jewelry from Chrome Hearts anymore since I've gotten like my dream piece from them. And it's this one um, dagger necklace. This dagger necklace is um, made in gold and it has diamonds on it. Actually, it has like eight diamonds on it, but only on one side. The other side is just pure gold. Um, but here is a close-up of how it looks like. It's really beautiful and it just fits perfectly. Um, as for the chain, I forgot the length that I got it in, but it just looks really nice whether or not it's stacked with another necklace. So if I hide that one and just have it down here, it just completes the outfit and it gives your outfit a much edgier look. So. I love 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 this piece so I'll show you guys like the entire collection right here so here are all my pieces I'm actually wearing one of the rings right now so um, it's this plus the ring so here is my entire jewelry collection all right, so I am actually going to unbox some of my other November haul items in the following video. So stay tuned for more shopping from me and more day in the lives from me.